So hello guys and welcome back to another video in our channel. So I've been on holiday for some time and uh, I've not managed to actually drop some videos. But I received very interesting comments on the video that I posted last time. The questions were, uh, you, 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 know, you don't know what you're doing, you YouTubers, you're just hyping up managers, you're just hyping up players. And this is because Chelsea actually had two not, good, uh, not so good results in preseason against Wrexham and against Celtic. And I want to dispel that notion that has been spread that uh, whatever I'm saying is not is untrue. And you, you can also see from Manchester City, they are yet to win a single preseason game. Do you think Manchester City are going to struggle this season? Absolutely not. Last season, Chelsea managed to have a very great preseason. Actually, we managed to win almost like all games. But in the first leg of the league season, we were very poor. So do not try to read in as much as in what happens in preseason. But I'm going to actually prove you wrong and tell you that uh, the problem and explain to you the problem that Chelsea has. Before we start, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. So the problem that Chelsea has is not such a huge problem as people think. The problem is just somewhere, slightly somewhere, that is making the entire system not work. Because remember, positional play is a system-based style of play. And therefore, every player should play their role so that the system can work. So Mareska likes to line up his team in a 4-3-3 formation. And it starts by wingers uh, stretching wide and the center forward pushing high up to push the back line deeper. This allows the two attacking midfielders to move and occupy the two half space regions so that Chelsea can form that five man attack. Wide wingers on either side, the two attacking midfielders playing in those two half space and knowing how to relate to the striker, and the striker occupying the central position, tying up the two center backs. That is the five man attack that Enzo Maresca wants to put in his teams. Now, this leaves the holding midfielder with the work of sweeping. And because he cannot do it alone, Enzo Maresca employs the inverted fullback system, inverting one fullback into the back line to be a third center back, while the other one into the midfield to play as an extra midfielder, forming that 3 2 5 3 2 structure. Three center backs at the back, two midfielders in, in midfield. We've seen Rich James play in this position. Gusto was also used in this game today. And this is the structure that Chelsea actually wants to try and employ. Now, what is wrong with this structure? Now, this structure is okay. Mareska wants Chelsea to play as a, as a set team. So if the attacking line is high up, the defensive rest defense, that is the three players together with the two holding midfielders, need to also push high up and play with an aggressive high line. The spaces that are in between the back line and the, goal, and the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper should step forward and play as a sweeper keeper. Now, the problems that Chelsea have had is to cover those spaces in between the goalkeeper and the centre-backs. And why have Chelsea had this problem? Now, because Chelsea are supposed to play in a structured manner, a system that they have not played with, but are now get, are trying to get used to playing with, they need to ensure that they squeeze high up the pitch. In that when they lose the ball, they are in close proximity to each other to actually engage in a counter-press. That's why Maresca also insists that Chelsea should play short, intricate passes between themselves. So that when they lose the ball, they don't have to run long distances to recover the ball. Now, Chelsea have had a problem defending in precision. But this problem is not so much to say that Maresca's structure is poor or he's a terrible coach. No, no, no. It is just the player's understanding the role that the coach has given them. Now, Maresca's uh, pressing system is a 4-4-2, aggressive high press, meaning that if it is an aggressive high press, it means that the back line squeezes up to cover, the, to, to play, uh, to try and play a high line so that they can deny any space between the back line and the midfield lines. Now, this is where the problem starts. Because the back line squeezes so high up, you find opponents positioning their players in the halfway line, their pacey players. And why do they position their pacey players? Because you cannot be offside during a goal kick or you cannot be offside from your own half. And so the opposition have learned how to play their players in those close high edges. Now, Chelsea's front line are tasked to be very aggressive. 
in it, in that they have to aggressively press deny any time and space to the center backs and to the goalkeepers who are able to pick these players in those high up uh, regions of the pitch and if chelsea employ an aggressive high press they will force the opponents to play balls poorly and chelsea center backs are able to win the ball and engage in, in, immediately look to try and build structure now look at this structure in how leicester is pressing Leicester is not allowing the Southampton defenders any time and space on the ball. Look at how aggressive. They are going even man-to-man -man aggressive press. The midfielders are also pushing to try and impose and put up pressure against the opposition. Here again, man-to-man -man aggressive high press. The backline has pushed up, but not only has the backline pushed up, the, uh, the front line, the, 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 the attacking players and the midfielders have also pushed up and are going into a man-to-man -man press. Denying the opposition time and space on the ball. Now, when the, you see players are moving in this controlled structure, the front line is very important because the front line are the ones who are supposed to in, in, uh, impose a lot of pressure. Because when they impose a lot of pressure, the back line, if it's playing a, a high line, is safe. Why is the back line safe? Because the opponent is not able to pick those players who are trying to make runs in behind the back line. Now, this is the problem that Chelsea had in the game against Wrexham. And the game against uh, Celtic. And Maresca also said the, 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 the passing was okay, the structure was okay. It was just some slight problems. Now, when Chelsea were playing Wrexham and uh, Celtic, we realized that they were playing with a high line. The midfield was in a no man's land position. And the front line was not aggressively pressing. Meaning that Mark Guihi and... Christopher Nkunku were not engagingly in a high press. That's why Pochettino preferred Kono Gallagher because Kono Gallagher was able to engage in that high press. So this allowed the opponents to have time and space on the ball where they could play those balls in those spaces, in the half spaces. That's why whenever you saw Chelsea's at, uh, being uh, attacked in these two preseason games, you saw Chelsea's backline looking quite staggered and players making just peeling from the backline quick, fast, quick, fast and make, creating a lot of chaos. Now, Chelsea's backline is thus to play quite narrow. And because they play in this kind of narrow situation, they leave a lot of acres of space in the wide areas. And this is not helped because the wingers are also not tracking back. So when the fullbacks also look to overlap, what you find is that Chelsea's backline is left in a very difficult situation. The fullback is left isolated. The centre-backs are also dragged out of positions. And now Chelsea's backline is now supposed to play in a compressed structure and this allows players to attack the far post and the wing areas like you can see from this clip look at how this clip how chelsea are actually being just uh, split open again look at this clip chelsea's backline is just being split open and the opponents manage to score because the problem stemmed from the front line did not apply the pressure during the press so the opponents were able to play these lines diagonal balls in the wide areas and that's why when they play these diagonal balls in the wide areas the fullbacks get have to come out and once the fullbacks come out then the spaces op uh, open up in there in those other regions now this is something that Mareska had noticed and in uh, yesterday's game we saw Chelsea's front line being much more aggressive Sterling was more aggressive, Noni Madweke was more aggressive, Mark Gohe was more aggressive, and that's why you find players such as Nicholas Jackson are being preferred, because Jackson knows how to apply that pressure. When you decide to press aggressively high with a back, with a high line, you must ensure that you apply pressure uh, high up, because if you play with a high line, and the players who are in the forward lines are not applying pressure, then it means that the opponent has time, he can step onto the ball, look see his wingers making runs seeing his strikers making those diagonal out to in runs and immediately play those balls ahead now those are structural problems those are not structural problems in that mareska's three to five system during attack is there but mareska's off the ball system the four to four aggressive press is not there the structure is there the four to four is there but the four players who are supposed to apply pressure onto the opposition backline and the goalkeeper are not doing their part well. So when the front four are not playing their part well, it, allow, it creates problems in midfield because now the midfielders have to spring forward. Once the midfielders spring forward, there is a line in which the, the backline cannot squeeze further forward. And once, since the backline cannot squeeze further forward, then the opponents are just able to play through Chelsea.
that is not a structural problem that is players who are playing aggressively high up the pitch not doing their job so Chelsea need to uh, uh, to know when they are going to engage in a high press and play with an aggressive high line then the forward players should know how to immediately apply pressure if they choose not to play with an aggressive high press then the back line should also not push aggressively high but rather play slightly deeper and look to con reduce the space between the back line and the goalkeeper if you've enjoyed this analysis do not forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and i'm looking forward to see your comments on the comment section area below based on this analysis thanks again